Hey, uh, folks, we're getting a, a really nice storm at the moment. And let me tell you something, your biggest impact that you will encounter with this is going to be for valley locations. It's going to be wet roadways uh, and the speed that some people are driving on there. You got to just take it easy for the foothills. It's going to be rain to about 4000 feet. So also slick roads is your issue. And then for the Sierra, it's just a little bit of snow. I'll have to watch for chain controls. But overall, this is a less impactful storm. It's going to be in and it's going to be out. You know, before this, we're looking at a lot of this sun and clouds and reasonably nice days, but folks, you can't keep racking up those days uh, because then you get into a bit of a problem uh, with, with drought and also with snowpack. We're only half uh, the way there uh, as far as snowpack from where we should be for this time of year. Download the ABC 10 app and then upload your photos of anything going on weatherwise, especially today. I'd love to see the rain and snow in your neighborhood and then it can get on TV right behind me. Okay, so where's the rain at uh, for the moment? Of course, during the show, we've been showing you the live radar in this corner of the screen, but just to show you in general where it is, all along the I-80 corridor and a little bit north to about Yuba City, Marysville, out toward the Bay Area, but there is a gap. The core is off the coast uh, near Monterey Bay and it's moving down to the south, so all the rain is going to be moving in that direction as as well. Also the spillover snow. This is not a huge storm, but it's something that we need. And most of the major impacts are going to be for Southern California. They're looking at much needed uh, rain and snow. They've barely gotten anything so far this season. So at the moment, everything is along I-80 off up to about Yuba City, Marysville. There is some light snow with this as well. A couple inches uh, down to about 4,000 feet or so is where that snow level is at the moment. And even though it's been quiet in Stockton and Modesto, that line is going to be moving down to the south and you're going to see more impacts for you uh, the rest of this morning. Temperatures in the 40s. We typically wake up in the 30s this time of year with dry weather, but as moisture moves in, your temperatures come up. Couple more hours in the Sacramento area for rain, and then later on this morning, likely before noon, we should start to see some clearing. A mix of sun and clouds later on today. Notice that the wind is not very strong. It's going to be wet in the morning and dry in the afternoon. Uh, it's going to be a nice afternoon after all this. Mostly, this is a, a morning storm for us. As far as the wind, I just want to highlight a couple things. You know, usually when I'm talking about a storm, I talk about rain and snow and wind. That's the trifecta of the things that you have to at least think about. There's very little wind with this storm at all. I do see once it clears out on the back end, we're going to get some wind in the Sierra, but overall, it's mostly just rain and snow that we're looking at. So let's look at the timing here. Uh, through the rest of this morning, that line is going to be moving down to the south with a little bit of snow. And then by, by this afternoon, it's only a mix of rain and snow in the mountains, and that's it. By later on tonight, everybody's in the clear, and then we just have fog for tomorrow, getting ready for the next storm. And oh, do we have storms. So let's take you through the clearing tonight, fog in the morning. Then we get to one quick hitter. This is going to be Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. It's going to be in and out. Very few impacts at all. Then we get to New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. It's going to be dry throughout all of California. And then look at this. S Saturday to Sunday, there's going to be a new storm. And then there's going to be another one. And then there's going to be another one. So we've got all sorts of action for the beginning of January of 2021. This storm, like I mentioned, should be out of here by this afternoon.